Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing a luxury makeup starter kit for beginners. This is a really fun video to do and I'm really excited because it's in collaboration with my friend Tara Lynn here on YouTube. So if you want to see the makeup that I have picked out for you guys to start off with, then just keep watching. So what stemmed the idea for this video was actually one of my subscribers. Her name is Ashley. I will put her channel down below. She actually does have a YouTube channel as well. And she requested that I do a luxury makeup starter kit for beginners and just see what products I would pick out. And I thought that video was a fabulous idea. I love when you guys request videos because it really inspires me to want to create them for you guys. And I got so excited for this video and immediately my mind went into, this is a video that I want to collab with Tara Lynn on. So if you don't know Tara, you can just look up Tara Lynn on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. You know, she is a beauty YouTuber. She makes videos very similar to mine. So we definitely have very similar tastes in makeup. She is one of the most kind people ever, I swear. She is so supportive of other creators. She really gives back to her followers. She cares. Like, she really is such a caring and loving person. I feel like she's my YouTube mom. She's so supportive of me. And everywhere I see her supporting everybody else. She is the type of person that we need more of here on this platform, especially with what it's kind of turned into in some other areas of the internet. So not only is she just a genuine person, but she also has like the most beautiful skin I've ever seen. If you love a glowy complexion or are looking for tips for glowy skin, you need to run over to her channel because she has the most beautiful glowing skin ever and she has some really great tips for that. She just has some very informative videos. I love watching her videos in the morning while I'm getting ready with a cup of coffee because I really do feel like I'm hanging out with her in her videos. She just is so down to earth, so personable, so sweet. I enjoy sitting down and just listening to her videos as I'm getting ready and if you aren't already subscribed, subscribe to her channel, I'm sure you would as well. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to collaborate with her on this specific video was because she loves all types of brands, luxury to drugstore. She's tried them all. She talks about them on her channel. And like myself, we both really love luxury makeup, but we're not afraid to go into the high-end drugstore kind of categories. And I just think that it really makes curating a luxury starter kit more special because we do have experience with these different brands. So it makes it really easy to say, no, like this this literally is a true luxury experience that you can't get in another realm of makeup. And you know, she also has more mature skin than myself. So a lot of different complexion products, they just work different on different types of skin. And I just thought to be as informative and helpful as possible for this style of video, Tara was the absolute best person to do this with. So make sure you go check out her channel. You won't be disappointed. She creates quality content and she really is so dedicated to her channel. And that's what we like to see here on this platform. I could keep gushing on, but I'm going to get straight into my picks. Like I said, I really wanted to pick products that I felt like couldn't be replicated at a different price point. Now, I'm sure there definitely can be, but these are products that really stand out to me that I don't feel guilty at all about purchasing. And I think that if you don't have a lot of luxury makeup and you're really looking for that luxury experience, these products are going to bring them to you and you're going to be so happy that you pick these up as your first luxury pieces. You know, I've provided my picks and I have cheated in some areas where I did add an extra couple of items, just honorable mentions to speak about, just because we all have different skin types and preferences. So I did want to bring a little bit of variety as well and not just pick one item in each category. So I did kind of add extra little tidbits where I felt truly it was needed. But let's start off with the base products and primer kind of products. So I do have one kind of primer product that goes onto the skin and this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Now this product is nothing new. It's quite popular here on YouTube. A lot of people use it, but I truly I really do love this product. It's a little bit more thick. It definitely feels like a moisturizer. So on my dry skin, I absolutely enjoy it. It really quenches the thirst of my skin. It doubles as a moisturizer and a primer and makeup lays on it really well. Now there are certain days where I do feel like I want a lighter base and I will switch to a different base. But for days that my skin are extremely dry, this is really great as a primer for your makeup to really get that base ready for products to be layered on top and to make it look as smooth as possible. Obviously this is pricey but I wouldn't put it in this video if I didn't think it was worth it and it has worked very well for my skin. I wanted to add the Charlotte Silvery Magic Cream because I love it but that price is a little bit outrageous. So for starting out in luxury makeup I think this is a really great pick. 
This next item is kind of multi-purpose and I'll share with you how I like to use them, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now I have mine in two shades and I will explain why. I have number one fair. This one is the one I use today. I love these. They are so versatile and I really haven't loved a glowy product as much as I have loved these. So I will use this light one before makeup to highlight my face where I want a little bit of an extra strobe on my face or the light to reflect off of it a little bit more. It's really great if you're using light coverage foundation but want a natural glow. This is fantastic. So I'll put this on before makeup or even after if I want an extra glow. It doesn't break up foundation and it's really great for giving that glow. I used it today as kind of a highlighting base to help that glow stay longer throughout the day. And then I also have it in the shade number three, which is more my skin tone. So for the more skin tone shade, I will put it all over my skin. If I have more of a fuller coverage foundation that's really matte, the glow from this really kind of pokes through from underneath the foundation to give that glow from within look. So I just love this product so much. I haven't found another product that I love as much as this that does what this does, you know, and it really dries down and the shine really lasts throughout the day. So this is one of those products that are irreplaceable in my collection and absolutely worth the money. And it's just so versatile that you can get so much use out of this. It's great. For foundation, I absolutely love luxury foundations. I really do feel like there is something special about the formulation in luxury foundations. So I was toggling between a few, but I came up with two different ones. Now the one that I most recommend because I feel like you are getting the most luxurious experience out of it is the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. Now this is my ultimate favorite foundation of all time. This was my first luxury foundation that I purchased and this really introduced me to a world of luxury foundations where I was like, that price tag actually makes a difference. Now I'm not saying drugstore foundations aren't good because there are some that I love but there really is something special about this foundation. The finish on the skin is just so soft and airbrushed. Sometimes I'll just spray this on my face if I'm not wearing my clothes for the day yet but like today I spray it on my sponge and just pat it on. This has medium to full coverage and it's super natural on the skin. It wears beautifully throughout the day and this is my all-time favorite foundation. I just think this has the most natural finish of all the foundations in my collection while also keeping up as far as wear goes throughout the day and keeping my skin looking like actual skin but giving me coverage and making my skin look better. So this is my number one favorite foundation. It is very pricey and what I don't like about this is I feel like it finishes extremely fast. You just run through it so fast but it is so good and it's a very unique product as well which I think kind of fits in with that. If you're starting off looking for a specific luxury product you want to have that luxury experience and I really have that experience with this product but if you're not really into that spray foundation if you're just looking for a regular traditional foundation I did want to quickly talk about the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Not everybody loves this foundation but personally I really love it. I find it to be an extremely versatile foundation in any type of condition or occasion. It's extremely lightweight on the skin, but it evens everything out. It has more of a medium coverage. It wears really beautifully. Again, it looks like skin. I love foundations that don't look too thick on the skin. It's very thin and skin-like. I think for being a luxury foundation, it's very reasonably priced just in the range of luxury foundations and the performance justifies it in my opinion. So if you're looking for a liquid foundation to kind of start off with, I love this. This I wore all through throughout college. It's amazing. Moving on to concealer, I have to give it to my Armani Power Fabric Concealer. This has been my favorite ever since I first tried it. Now, it's not the most full coverage concealer. I don't really have problems with dark under eyes, so I don't mind that. I just really like how lightweight this concealer is while still giving coverage and just how easily it blends into the skin. It does not look cakey underneath the eyes at all, and once you put it on, it really spreads itself. It's an amazing concealer concealer. Great natural everyday coverage and it doesn't look like you're kicking up so much to try and cover what is wrong with your under eyes. Yeah, this has been my favorite concealer for the past year and a half I would say and it's worth every penny. It's one of my go-to concealers that I always grab for and totally justified in the price tag. Now if you are looking for something that has some more coverage, I would recommend the new Pat McGrath Labs Concealer. Now this is newer in my collection so this is more so of a shout out or an option if you're looking for more full coverage. I stand by this. I've been using this for a very very long time now but no this is also a beautiful concealer. It spreads out very well. It's a little bit more thick than the 
the Armani, but it has more coverage as well. And that she did an amazing job with this formula. So if you are looking for more full coverage concealer, this is the way to go, but more natural lightweight concealer, Armani is the way to go. Moving on to powders, I have picked two for you out. So I have a loose powder and a pressed powder. So the pressed powder that I love is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I have mine in the shade number two, and I don't really use this to set my makeup. I did today just for sake of a demo, but I like this to touch up my makeup because it's really traceless in the skin. In. It just soaks up all the oils and just instantly makes your makeup look refreshed and better. It doesn't add any cakiness to your face when you apply it. It literally, it's airbrush. It just airbrushes your skin. And a lot of people like this for the under eyes or setting their makeup. Personally, that's not how I prefer it. I don't really like this to set my under eyes, but this is the most beautiful lightweight powder to fix your makeup. It's literal magic. Charlotte Tilbury did an amazing job with this formula. So I like that it's pressed, it's portable, it's really slim, and it's my favorite touch-up powder. Now as far as loose powders go, I have to talk about the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Again, another traceless lightweight powder. I'm not a huge, huge fan of baking, and this one really kind of just soaks into the skin. You really can't tell that there's any powder on your skin. So it's an amazing Amazing loose setting powder. I have it under my eyes today and literally you cannot tell I put powder underneath my eyes and if you like that glowy skin look the glow really kind of shows through underneath this powder. You know how when you powder your skin and sometimes the glow that you put all that effort into adding goes away? This doesn't, this complements the glow very well. It will subdue it a little bit because powder is powder and that's what powder does. But as far as all of the powders in my collection go, this one works with the glow. It doesn't work against it. So I love that powder for this. Really lightweight, worth every penny. Moving on to bronzer and kind of contoury types of shades. I picked a few different options. Hopefully you're not too mad, but there really are so many directions that you can go that I wanted to kind of fill all of the areas. So as far as cream products go, I love a cream contour bronzer kind of situation. I think that's the best way to blend those kind of shadows into your face to look the most seamless and natural. And I couldn't do a luxury starter kit without talking about the Soleil Tan de Chanel. So pricey, but it lasts you a lifetime. There is so much product in here, and this is like the best cream bronzer ever. It is more of a cream to powder finish. It looks like you went on vacation. I like to put a beauty blender in here and then use that to push it into the skin. But it's what I'm wearing today and it really warms up the skin. It, you literally look like you went to the beach and got tan and it just blends into the skin beautifully. This is a cult classic product. This is nothing new, but it is so good and it is worth the hype. And I just think that it is a staple luxury product that you need to have in your collection if you're looking to build that. So it's a Chanel item. You can't get more bougie than that and it works really good. Now that is a very warm product. It really is more of a suntan product, but if you're looking for something that gives you a little bit more shadow and not necessarily warmth, something a little bit more neutral, I have to mention the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This looks really scary, but honestly, it blends so easily. It looks really dark when you put it on, but the second you use a sponge and kind of blend it into the skin, suddenly it's shaded your face. It's added some dimension to your face. It really blends really beautifully. I just wanted to give more of a warm option and then more of a cooler, neutral kind of option. Also, this is liquid and this one is a cream to powder finish. So I'm trying to give you options. These are two really beautiful cream products that I love and are incomparable to so many other items. But the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer, what's really great about this is you get so much product, like it is pricey, but you will never run out in your entire life. It's unbelievable that I've hit pan on this. This is not a super warm bronzer. It's not super cool either. It's that neutral kind of color. And I just think value-wise, as far as luxury product goes, you're never going to run out of this and it's a solid bronzer, one of my top favorite bronzers ever. So had to mention that, honorable mention, couldn't help myself. All right, let's get away from these bronzer options. For blush, I picked out 
only one blush. I'm more so talking about the formula, not necessarily the color, but if you like pink blushes, this is a beautiful formula. But the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Up Blushes are my absolute favorite blush formula. Now, I have Luminous Flush because I personally enjoy a more pinky kind of blush, and oh my gosh, Hourglass has the best blush formula ever, hands down. This is the only blush formula I'm going to mention in this video. It just looks so natural on the skin. They aren't completely flat matte blushes. They do have a little bit of a luminosity to them that only Hourglass is able to achieve. There's something so blurring about their blushes, but they're glowy. They don't emphasize any texture or anything like that. They have the most beautiful color selection and it just blends into the skin, not onto the skin, and it's a powder. So it's very rare for a powder to do that. So easy to use I just I love hourglass blushes like go to Sephora pick out the color that you like the most they also sell them in minis and it's the blush that you're gonna grab for every day it's truly amazing love their formula and if you are able to every year for the holidays they come out with an actual really big palette and I would recommend this because Hourglass has the most amazing powder face products. Anything you'll buy, from bronzer to blush to highlight, they really have a formula that knocks all of the other brands out. This is the Lighting Edit Ghost Palette that just came out this year. They have a different one every year, but I would recommend you pick at least one of them up because you get blushes, you get the really great bronzers, and you get really great highlights from them. So Hourglass face powders are the best in the business. Absolutely incredible, such a unique formula that can't really be duplicated anywhere else. As far as highlights go, in my opinion, nobody does it like Dior. Dior has my absolute favorite highlighting formula. Just the way that all of their highlighters apply to the skin, they sink into the skin, they blend in seamlessly to the skin. It doesn't look like you have a stripe of highlight on your face. I mean, I'm wearing one of the highlighters right now so good. I think as far as best value, you want to go with their Backstage Glow face palettes. Individually, their highlighters are beautiful. They're nude luminizers, incredible. They have a new limited edition one called Rosy Vibes. <sighs> I've been raving about that nonstop, but for a starter kit, definitely go with one of the Glow face palettes. This is number one. This is our first one. I'm wearing this shade right now on my cheeks, but they also have the Glitz. Now, personally, I love the OG, but both are absolutely stunning. So Dior just has the best highlighting formula in the business, if you ask me. You can buy them individually or in these little quads, but they did such an awesome job with these. So I definitely recommend you go towards this direction if you have not. You guys know how I am about eyeshadow palettes. I love luxury eyeshadows and I really thought for a beginner what would be the best and I decided to go with the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I chose Natasha Denona over brands like Pat McGrath and Charlotte Tilbury and Tom Ford because I just feel like value wise and experience wise this is the best that you can get. Now, you can get a wonderful experience, of course, with all of the other brands. However, you get the most colors for the best price with Natasha Denona. I specifically chose the Natasha Denona Metropolis because you get 28 colors of an extremely luxurious, beautiful formula. Originally, I was going to pick the gold palette from Natasha Denona, but you get half the amount of colors and it's more expensive. So the best route to go if you're dabbling into luxury eyeshadow formula I think is definitely with Metropolis because you can get so many different looks with this palette there is so many different tones in here to play with and it truly is just the best value that you can get for this type of formula. I use it today to create this golden kind of a bronzy look and it's just so stunning. There's so many amazing eyeshadow palettes from luxury brands that you can go for, but I just think that this is the best for a beginner. I really truly do. Um, I also have a mascara. You know, I'm not gonna really talk about eyeliner or anything. I just think there are so many other great ones out there that don't have to spend a lot of money on, but the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara, oh my gosh, I love this. Now my Essence Lash Princess is my number one favorite mascara, but if you want more volumized lashes, I can't get enough of this mascara. I just, I have really, really tiny, thin lashes, and this does something that so many other mascaras cannot. It builds beautifully on itself. You know how sometimes there's mascaras that don't really build very well? This one builds so nice. So if you like really thick lashes, I love this mascara. 
it is wonderful. It's not necessary to spend a lot of money on mascara because there is a lot of affordable mascaras, but if you're looking for a luxury mascara, this is the best. All right, so finally lips. I struggled with this because there's so many beautiful luxury formulas out there, but I did narrow it down to my favorites. So as far as lip liners go, I really recommend looking into the Pat McGrath line because these kind of set themselves. So they're extremely creamy, but they last a very long time. They almost kind of set themselves. So I have Done on Done here, which is my kind of lip color. So it's like literally my lip color, and then I'll put just a clear gloss over top, and it's a beautiful everyday lip. I also recommend the shade Contour if you like something more brown, but Done on Done is just the perfect everyday pink lip color. Charlotte Tilbury also has a really nice lip liner formula, but Pat McGrath takes the cake. For lipstick, I was like, ooh, which brand? I don't know. And then I ultimately decided on Charlotte Tilbury. These are definitely my favorite luxury lipsticks. I think she has the best range as well. I think her range is the most universally flattering on everybody. She just has really good everyday colors that you're going to love. So I picked my top three colors in her line, two of which are nude. Can't help myself. But I have Nude Kate, which is this light peachy nude shade right here. This is what I wear when I'm wearing a really dark eye look and then Hepburn Honey which is the lipstick that's on my lips right now just a little bit more deep than Nude Kate and then the last one is something to kind of brighten up your lips and brighten up your face for every day which is the classic pillow talk shade so I think this is a really great everyday color for anybody and any girl it's fantastic now if you do have a deeper skin tone she actually does have pillow talks in different depths so there's pillow talk medium and pillow talk intense so pillow talk is a really classic color for Charlotte Tilbury it's kind of what her brand is known for it's her best selling shade and there are different depths for pillow talk so it's really popular for a reason so if you're looking to get into Charlotte Charlotte Tilbury lip products, Pillow Talk might be the best bet for you because that's classically what she is most known for. And now onto the final product is lip gloss. And my all-time favorite luxury lip gloss is the Pat McGrath lip gloss in Dare to Bear. It's just like a almost clear peach shade. I have it on top right now. And there's something about the way that this reflects the light. It just makes my lips look super plump. It has the right amount of thick to sticky ratio where it's not too sticky but it's sticky enough so that you know it's gonna last all day and this color in particular goes over any nude lipstick and since I tend to wear nudes the most when I'm wearing makeup that's why I grab for this color the most of course she has a huge range of colors that are beautiful so pick to whatever you're gonna wear most but I personally wear dare to bear most I also really like divine rose for more everyday kind of lip colors but so good such a good gloss formula but hopefully this was a helpful guide to helping you pick out luxury makeup if you are just starting out i didn't want to overwhelm you with too many products but at the same time i wanted to give options i was really like not sure how we wanted to do it but i'm very happy with the products that i picked out i truly believe in them and i think that you will too it is an investment but luxury makeup can be really fun it makes you feel good and these formulas i don't want to steer you in the wrong direction if you're going to spend your hard-earned money on luxury products I want you to love the formula and I truly believe in these and I hope you enjoy them if you do give them a try also coming back here after I've already filmed this video but I forgot to mention brushes and tools and there's a lot of great luxury brushes to choose from but ultimately I decided to choose Sonia G brushes they are quite pricey, but I think she has some of the best face brushes in the game. So these are the brushes that I actually used for all of my application today. So I'm going to link down below my favorite sets that I think are great for beginners. So with luxury brushes, they are quite an investment, but you really will see the difference between more affordable brushes versus brush brands like Sonia G. So the face brushes, like you can tell they're definitely going to last forever. And her eye brushes are fantastic as well. I just think that her face brushes really do stand out. The way they are, feel, they're so soft. The way they spread and blend powders. Like, there really is a difference between luxury and not luxury brushes. For a starter kit, I'm going to put down some of my favorite sets from Sonia G. Sorry, totally didn't think to mention that until after the fact. But I had to get it in because her brushes, 
incredible. So anyways, that is all I have for today's video. Make sure you stop by and watch Tara's video. I will put it down below. I think it's really great to get another perspective and I really want to help each other out. So if you are watching this and you've made it to this point, comment down below what your favorite luxury makeup items are so that we can talk about it, chat, and see what really is up as far as these products go. And that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.